What's up guys? Iceman here. So apparently, a great white shark decapitated a fisherman while the guy was diving for shellfish. And the reasons are unknown. But yeah, this shark ripped his freaking head off. Which apparently is a very unusual style of attack for a great white shark. But before I get into it, I'd like to thank you guys for all your support on this channel. And if you will, like the video, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to the page if you haven't yet. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. So, this attack happened within the last month or so. And the thing is, it was a massive great white shark, measuring about 19 feet long, or 5.8 meters. Which, to my understanding, is pretty long for a great white. The guy was diving for axe tripe, which is a scallop-like mollusk in Mexico. This attack made headlines all over the media because of the unusual style the shark took on the guy. His name was Manuel Lopez, who was in his 50s, and he met his unfortunate demise along the Gulf of California off Mexico. He was diving somewhere between 36 and 59 feet deep, using a sort of surface-supplied air source, a scuba-like apparatus that he connected to a compressed air source on a boat through a series of pipes. And the horrifying thing about this attack is that two other guys witnessed it, and they claimed that the shark impressively ripped off the guy's head while biting both of his shoulders. And this kind of attack is extremely rare where they actually bite off someone's head. A lot of speculation has occurred now whether or not this attack was intentional on a human as opposed to the common assumption that sharks attack people because they think they're a seal or something and then they let go. But then again, it has actually been observed where a great white bites off the head of a seal to basically neutralize it and then it can have its way with its body. But nonetheless, experts chimed in on this and claimed that decapitation from a great white shark is extremely rare. And it could have been a mistaken identity case where it thought it was a common prey animal or something. According to the experts, sharks don't have that good of vision, which often makes it hard for them to distinguish prey from humans. Another expert chimed in and they claimed that maybe Lopez could have avoided the attack if he had been wearing brightly colored clothing, like a brightly colored wetsuit or something. Because then it would really make him stand out and he wouldn't look like a seal as much, like what you might look like if you're wearing a black wetsuit or something like that. But another expert actually claimed that the diver's fishing activity played a role in misleading the shark into thinking that he was a prey animal. They said that the smell of shellfish concentrated around the diver could have lured in the great white shark. Apparently sharks are often drawn towards smells in the water, as well as vibrations of struggling animals. Also, it could have been the position of Lopez on the seafloor that would explain why the shark went for the head because scallopers walk along the bottom of the ocean floor, in which case the shark couldn't have approached him from underneath, so it came right from above and chomped down on him. But damn, I can't believe it that there was actually this crazy shark attack that involved a monstrous sized great white. This is like the fear of those who swim in the oceans that I feel like is always looming somewhere in the recesses of our minds. Is there a massive shark here, a great white, that's gonna have me for dinner? Personally, I'd be more afraid of tiger sharks or bull sharks, especially, because bull sharks are so freaking aggressive. But nonetheless, you still gotta look out for the legendary great whites. After reading some of these attacks, to be honest with you guys, it makes me not want to swim in the ocean again. Like, I know the chances are small and the risk is minute, but is the juice really worth the squeeze? You know what I'm saying? Is it really worth taking a dip in there if you might leave without all your limbs intact? And of course, you might not escape with your life or worse. But what do you guys think about this horrendous attack? And do you ever swim in the ocean? Or do you think you will in the future? 
Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these matters and like this video if you will for more chilling tales from the Iceman.